Hello guys, my name is Balakrishna Shivastav and welcome to Code with BK. So in this video, we write a Java program to calculate the HCF of two integers. And before we begin, it is a request to please, 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 please subscribe to my channel because out of 100 viewers, only one or two are subscribed and a subscription is very important. So please, 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 please do subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. So we have to write a Java program to calculate the HCF of two integers. So HCF or GCD, HCF is highest common factor, commonly known as GCD, greatest common divide. Okay. And we use two approaches to solve this problem using the brute force method, no optimizations and using the standard Euclidean method. Okay. Let's look at the examples. So we have A and B as 10 and 20. So HCF is 10 because highest common factor for 10 and 20 is 10. 10 ones are 10, 10 ones are 20. Similarly for 3 and 5, Highest common factor is 1 because there is no other factor that divides both A and B completely. Similarly, for this case, A equal to 9, B equal to 21, HCF is 3. Okay. So first, I will write the brute force method and then I'm going to show you the Euclidean method. The brute force method to find the HCF of two integers. Okay. A and B. So what do we mean by brute force here is we do not make any kind of optimizations. We go to the solution as it is. So basically, how do you find HCF of two integers? You find the largest factor that divides them both completely. Okay. And in the worst case, that largest factor is going to be one. For example, in three and five, their HCF is one. Okay. So the minimum highest common factor is going to be one. So I'm going to start with HCF equal to one. And this is the value I return at in the end. Okay. Then I'm going to iterate from two and I'm going to iterate Till less than equal to minimum of a and b okay why minimum of a and b because i want to find a value that divides both a and b completely only then it is a factor of both a and b so if in case if a is less than b and i go beyond a all right so that factor will be dividing b but not a all right so i have to iterate till the minimum of a and b okay so if i find a value i that divides both a and b completely here a percent i equal to 0 and b percent i equal to 0. Okay. This means that i completely divides a and this means that i completely divides b. We are using the modulus operator. Okay. So if this is the case, so this means i is a factor of a and b because it divides both a and b completely. So I will update my HCF to i because HCF is supposed to be the highest common factor. That is the common factor that is the highest value. Okay. That is we pick up the highest value of i possible when we iterate this. Okay. And finally, we return this value. Okay. Simply coding what the actual meaning of HCF is. All right. So let me run this. So I'll say Java C calculate HCF dot Java. Okay. I'll say Java calculate HCF. So for 10 and 20, we get HCF as 10. Okay. 3 and 5 is 1, 9 and 21 is 3, 35 and 14 is 7, 10 and 18 is 2, which is correct. All right. So this is our brute force method, no optimizations, but this is very slow. For example, if you have to calculate like 1000 HCFs, okay, so this is going to be very slow. So we have a relatively very fast method that we call the Euclidean method. So I'm going to say HCF Euclidean, okay, and this is the Euclidean method, Euclidean method to find HCF of two inches A and B, okay. So let me code this and then I'm going to explain this. So I'm going to say if a equal to zero return b, otherwise return calling this recursively b percent a and a. All right. And this will finally return the HCF of two integers a and b short and small, very simple and fast as well. Okay. So let me run this. So I'm going to call HCF Euclidean instead of HCF. Okay. All right compile run so 10 and 20 is 10 3 and 5 is 1 9 and 20 is 3 35 14 is 7 and 10 and 18 is 2 which is correct okay so i am not going to go into very detail about the explanation of this i will add a link that explains this euclidean method in detail and you can have a read all right this method is very handy very useful and you should remember it whenever you are trying to find the hcf or gcd of two integers because going forward you will be doing competitive coding problem solving right and you want to remember codes which are fast okay and this is very easy to remember okay and in just short telling why this is fast because 
the run time of this is going to be complexity for this is okay it is linear which is equal to o minimum of a and b okay and for this it is o log of minimum of a and b okay so if you consider minimum of a b as the value x okay so here complexity is going to be o x okay and here in that case the complexity is going to be o log x okay and log x is always faster than x pretty faster than x basically okay so let me add a couple of more cases i'll say 1 1 0 and 20 okay i'll say 85 and 97 20 85 97 right so let me run this java c java Okay, 85 and 97 is 1 because the 97 is basically a prime number, right? Okay, 120 is 10, all right. Okay, so if we want to check the correctness of this, I'll say i less than 100 and a plus plus. Okay, I'm going to create a random object, I'll say random, random, mute, random. Okay, and I'm going to do import java.util.random. Okay, so creating a random object and I'll say int a is a random dot next int 100, okay, plus 1. And similarly, I'm going to say b. So let me run this for 10 times first. And I'm going to say hcf of a plus and basically b is a and b, okay. Compiling this, running this, so we should get 10 more cases, right? Let me comment this out. Clear, compile. 39, 2 is 1, 46, 59 is 1, 69, 42 is 3, all right? Let me make it a 100 times. Okay, and you can check these cases. 22, 76 is 2, 18, 12 is 6, 75, 85 is 5, 60, 76 is 4, 91, 7 is 7, 87, 58 is 29, 29, 3 is 87, 29, 2 is 58, 37, 74 is 37, okay, all right. So this was the solution to this problem and I hope this was helpful and you should be remembering this code, okay, to calculate the HCF or the GCD of two integers always, okay. So if you like this video, if you find this helpful, please, 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 please subscribe to my channel. And if there was something that you did not like about this video, please just don't press the dislike button. Please let me also know in the comments what was it that you did not like about this video so that I can improve in my further videos. And you can also let me know in the comments if there's a question you want me to solve or if there's a concept you want to discuss. Thank you.